Okay. Okay, back in 1963, I took my first wage earning job ever at the National Beer of Standards. It used to be on this campus with um, at Connecticut Avenue and Van Ness Streets in Washington, D.C. Now it's the University of District of Columbia. It was had been on a site of red brick buildings with an interesting underground tunnel system that used to had used to belong to Federal City College, and then that was in the late 60s, I think they, the National Beer Standards moved to Gaithersburg, Maryland, and eventually was replaced. This was replaced by the modern UDC. I just wanted to say something. It's there's Connecticut Avenue out there in the metro stop. Um, I just wanted to say something, a, a little bit about yesterday's video, about um, you know, about um, sex and gender, and um, I didn't want to de-emphasize the fact there are only two base biological sexes for humans and for mammals and practically all animals and practically all erucocytes, you know, in biology. That's pretty universal. Um, and everybody has one sex assigned at birth. Once in a extremely, once the, even the intersex conditions usually resolve to one or the other. And there are sites like Paradox Institute and Re Reality's Last Stand that explain the science of this. And um, what it means socially is that there is an issue, yes, there's an issue that some people develop gender vis for children, for adults there's no problem. Adults can adopt whatever gender identity they want and if they change, if they, if they go through a transition and can afford it, they can do what they want. The issue is children, minors, and in what's taught in schools. That's still a big issue. And essentially, it's possible, you know, gender dysphoria is legitimate in young children, but it's rather rare. And in some many cases, it resolves as they get older, and often the people grow up to be gay adults, even though not all, even though that's still a minority of gay adults, that sometimes happens. But once in a while, once in a great while, it may be appropriate to in a case-by-case -case basis to assist minors. Seems like there's some a medical an accident here. I'm on Connecticut Avenue. It's kind of interrupting the broadcast. But once in a while, it may be appropriate even in with younger minors to intervene. I won't go into all the details. But it should, shouldn't happen often enough that it's politicized. It shouldn't happen often enough that it needs to be taught in lower grades or everybody needs to learn a new grammar for pronouns or that you need to in invade biological women's spaces or sports or anything. Um, once people are adults and are transitioned, they have absolutely no problem. We've been used to that for years. So I just wanted to clarify something I said yesterday.